across the way in a room, go over there and sing him the song. So he lifted uh, Berlin out of his chair and walked him across the hall. And by the time he got there, Irving Berlin had thought of a song, a melody for the song he had written. And he sang it to the pianist and the pianist and they had, and that was the first song that Irving Berlin ever wrote. From then on, he, he wrote songs that you know. <laughs> How old was he then? Do you know? Yeah, 18. Uh, he was, uh, the Friars Club, remember, was a club for performers. And uh, one of his, one of George M. and George M. Cohen was the president of the first Friars Club. And he was a friend of Irving Berlin. And uh, Irving Berlin wanted to get into the Friars Club. And uh, George M. Cohen says, you'll have to perform. And Berlin says, I, I can only write music. So he says, so you'll write something. So he wrote four songs. And the first three are forgettable. Then he wrote, for the last one he wrote, Alexander's Ragtime Band. And, and uh, George M. Cohen said, so you'll perform that. <laughs> and he did, and somebody was sitting in the audience, an actress, and picked it up, and another actress picked it up when she performed it, and so forth, and it became a hit immediately in the United States, and in England, and in France, and in Russia. And he made two million dollars in those times when he was 21 years old. And so that's the story of Irving Berlin. He lived a long life. He lived to be 101. He stopped writing when he was 67.
Carol Larlin wrote the music. It's interesting that the music for for uh, for the Wizard of Oz right. won an Academy Award. Right. There were nine songs in it, and they weren't included in it. And Harold Arlen did not win the Academy Award. Really? It was written. Uh, the fellow who won the Academy Award wrote all the incidental music. Right. One of the great robberies. Right.